Hey guys, I am Dakota and I am here to share with you the Pokemon that I think are the cutest and most adorable little creatures, other than the fact that they can fit into a little ball and you can carry them around in your pocket. What's more cuter than that? I actually came up with a list of Pokemon that I actually find are freaking adorable. And I actually looked up a lot of like clips from the actual anime and it brought back so much nostalgia. That used to be my show when I was little. I have 10 Pokemon here and I'm not going to go into any specific order from like my top to least or anything. So they're randomated, randomated. I just made that into a word. I'm just gonna shut up and get to the point of this video, which are my cutest Pokemon. Not my cutest, but what I think are the cutest. Anyway, just go. The first one that I found is probably because it's my favorite and it was the first one that I thought of, which is Eevee. Yay! Eevee is actually pretty adorable to me since it's fox shaped and foxes are my favorite animal. So a lot of these are going to seem biased because they are fox shaped and yeah. Eevee is also on my list of top 10 cutest Pokemon because it can evolve into eight other equally adorable freaking evolutions. They, they, I can't even explain how adorable they are. I just, I love them. My second one is Mew because Mew sounds like a kitten. I'm almost positive that that is where the name Mew came from. Yeah, y you get the point. Mew also summons pink bouncy bubbles. It's pretty freaking adorable. My third one is Pichu because it's a baby Pikachu and it's a tiny mouse. I don't know about you guys, but mice are kind of adorable, even if they are kind of... Yeah. Four is Vulpix, totally not biased because it's a fox Pokemon. Totally not. Vulpix just looks super cuddly to me as it is. I don't know if it's because of its six fluffy tails or what. Number five is Delcaddy because it's a cat. Delcaddy is purple. Sixth one is Togepi. I don't know if you've ever actually watched the anime for Pokemon, but Togepi makes the cutest sound. Number seven is Shaman because it's a hedgehog, which is another one of my favorite animals, and it looks like a bush. And it has a cute little flower and it's like bushy, yeah, just, it's just, it's cute. Number eight is Celebi because giant blue eyes, who doesn't like that? And sh Celebi has stubby little feet and number nine is Fennekin also because it's a fox. It's definitely in the shape of a fox or a one of those really small fluffy dogs, but I don't care. It's still freaking adorable. It's fluffy and it's tiny and it's adorable. It's like a foot tall, which is like this tall, maybe like, I don't know, a bit taller than my head. I don't know. Number 10 is Victini because it also has large blue eyes. I love blue eyes and just large blue eyes at that on cute creatures. That's even more cute. I don't have a lot of background with Victini, so I don't know if it's both of its hands or just one, but um, it has like fingers in the shape of a V, so it always looks like this, like without these fingers, yeah. It always looks like this, so it always looks like it's giving a peace sign and it's actually the most cutest thing. I'm sorry if this video seems short or rushed, I am actually trying to get out of this little area as fast as I can because there are ladybugs and I don't like them. If you guys like this video, you should show your support by subscribing or liking, whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video maybe. Um, bye. Hey guys, I am Dakota. For this video, I am going to uncover some 2013 things.